we want to know what groups are, what columns are, and what these uh, uh, specific items or tasks are within each column. So when we talk of groups, we are talking about uh, taking a group of tasks and putting them together. Uh, these groups allow us to create uh, things like these pipelines where we can move uh, a certain uh, task from one end to another. So we'll call this a task. Uh, once it's done, we can even move it to this other part. So we're moving this to the deals which are one. We can even move it uh, back. Now, columns offer so many options uh, that help you to create the workflow in the way that you want. I'm just going to talk about a few things, uh, but you have an option of so many of these and you can access different types of columns and make experiments with them. But we're going to talk about just the basic ones. So the first thing is, how do you add a column? Remember, when you talk about columns, we're talking about these. For you to add a column, you simply come to this plus item and you click and you find the type of column that you want. Uh, say you simply want to add text and that text probably are notes. So you can type and say notes. Then every group will have notes on it. So you can now add notes to say I had a phone call. So these notes will then appear to anyone who has access to this board. Now say you no longer want these notes, you can actually delete them by simply clicking these three uh, items. When you hover here, you'll find these three dots and you can duplicate this to create another column or you can rename it or you can delete it. That's what we want to do, delete and it's gone. So right now we're just going to talk about some types of columns that you can make use of. Right now we have a default type of uh, column that usually comes with most, in fact, all of the boards that you uh, usually make come with this one. It's very important. Why? Because it is used for communication. So this is an update. Uh, you can actually have a conversation or update people on things that have happened. For example, we do have a, a user here on item one who has said we had a meeting. Uh, so probably let's rename the item one to say uh, it's actually uh, uh, Ryan Hobbs. Probably is a client that we're dealing with. So uh, this user, when we click here, we open a conversation. This user said we had a meeting with Ryan Hobbs. So I can like what that user said. I can also reply and say thanks. Um, or anything that I want to say there, that information will be updated to that other user and they will see uh, a notification here and here uh, that uh, there is information that has come through. So it's really important, why? Because we can share files, we can share information and the person can now scroll down and see all the conversations that happened uh, that are related to this deal that we are talking about. So it's there for communication. We also have what we call a people column. A people column can be used to assign tasks to uh, a specific user or to multiple users. In this case, this task was allocated to Malvin. So we can allocate it to Malvin and also to another user, Tawand there. So you can make use of this to allocate to different uh, people. It then uh, notifies those people that they have been allocated to a particular task and once that is done, they now know that they have to work on this uh, task. So they will see this on their notification bell. They receive a notification and also an email notification telling them that they've been assigned to a specific uh, task. You can also assign tasks to a particular team. So it's possible for you to do that. That team function then allows us to uh, add teams. As you can see, if we click the plus here, uh, we can then say search uh, teams. If we have a team that we've created, we simply add it and they are now assigned to that task. Uh, so that's quite useful. Um, another useful part is the status. A status uh, makes so many things easy. Uh, you know, if you are working on something and you want people to know that you're working on it, you simply click working. If you are stuck and you want someone to help you, click stuck. Uh, people know that you're working on it, but you're stuck on something. Uh, sometimes when you are done, 
can just click done and people know you are done. Uh, so these statuses can also be used for automations uh, to say, once I'm done, move this from uh, probably we can create done or deals one. Uh, if it's done, move it to the next group. So there are automations like that where they respond to the status. The status also can be used for uh, communication, surprisingly. So you can actually uh, make use of this by cl clicking the top there. You see, once you move, there's a small animation happening. The top right, you click that. You can then update something about this. So in this case, let's just use uh, this part which it uh, updates already. Say, um, so Ryan needs another call. Once we update this using the status section, it will be updated in the conversation that we started before. You see, there, um, Ryan needs another call. And it's from the status working on it. So you can make uh, communications using the status uh, section as well, which is quite a handy feature. So how do you add uh, another status? You can actually say, uh, just by going there and say edit labels, probably this uh, label we can call it deals one or deal completed. Once we apply, if anyone now comes and clicks deal completed, everyone knows that this deal has been completed. So it's moving on to one. Uh, we can also even create another label that says uh, deal has been lost then it automatically moves on to deals lost. One other useful uh, column that you might just need to know about, there are so many of these that you can uh, search and make use of, is, is the deadline column. So when you have the dead column here, you can actually change these into uh, deadlines by clicking this um, uh, three, three buttons, by clicking these three buttons and then set as deadline. So what you're doing now, you're converting it to make sure that it becomes a deadline. And you want to uh, connect these. You'd obviously want to connect these to a, a status column and a person co column. Why? You'd want to assign a deadline, uh, a task rather, to a person, then assign a due date for that work to be done. It's quite useful because it helps to keep track of time uh, it, it then allows the people to know that this person is lagging behind, the deadline is near. So uh, the status column there is what we uh, we connect to and we also have the person column. Uh, once that is done, we connect this column. So look at it now. Uh, we can set a deadline. So let's assign item 3 to Tawanda there. Then... Um, we can then say what is the deadline for this job, the 25th. So it now shows that there are two days left and uh, people can now see that this person is working towards it or they've completed it or they're stuck somewhere and the deadline is fast approaching. It really helps to keep track of your projects and workflows. So that's quite a, a, a useful function that we have.